In this module, we discuss the uh, complexity uh, of government structures, uh, the increasing complexity of government structures and the difference and the issues which crop up when there are departments working in the same area as well as authorities. So when Pakistan became independent, government structure was simple. There were ministries in federal government and departments in provincial governments. Uh, there were some attached departments uh, linked with them but they also followed the government rules. Their pay structures were similar to ministries and departments. Gradually, there were two problems that government realized that there are diverse situations and they need timely actions. And so, they, they, if we look at the government rules, they, will, they need a lot of time to get permissions and all that. So, more autonomy had to be given to the officer in the field, to the company in the field rather than asking everything from the ministry or department. Secondly, there are more and more departments or uh, which are working with the government, uh, with the public, uh, and providing some service in competition with the private sector. So that also meant that more, if they want to, were to win the competition, they were, have to be given more autonomy. So what resulted was autonomous bodies. So autonomous parties, how they were different, they were owned by the government, but they had different financial rules and different staff or HR rules. So uh, they had more leeway in terms of increasing or decreasing pay or uh, buying something or selling something. And they will have also more leeway in hiring and firing people and promoting people. Beyond a certain thing, they had to ask the government, but for most of the affairs, their affairs, they were autonomous. So this gave them more uh, ability to work in the market, to work in the field, and not hampered by the government rules. So one example of this change is, you can see in the telegraph department. So it was called Post and Telegraph Department 1949, after independence. Then it became Pakistan Telephone and Telegraph Department when telephone was introduced in 1962. Then in, it became autonomous body, Pakistan Telecommunication Corporation Act, by an act in 1991. And finally, it became a com private company in 1996 because of the Pakistan Telecommunication Reorganization Act. So this is how is uh, the process from a department to a corporation or autonomous party and from there to a private company. So autonomous parties were more, uh, were more had more autonomy, can, can make their own decisions, but still it was realized that to move faster, to deal with the people, to deal with the situations, more autonomy is required. So then government decided to come up with com private companies. So they were registered under Companies Act 1984 or 2017. And they were private companies. They were owned by the government, but their rules were their rules were their own rules and made by the their boards. So there were two types of private companies. One they were hundred percent owned, and one who were majority share was with the government, and rest was traded in the stock market. There was nothing wrong with these private companies, but then some government officers did corruption and used to milk them use them to milk the state. Uh, Supreme Court took an action. There was some good, uh, you know, uh, correction and good. Uh, it, it stopped the corruption and it, it forced the, uh, the uh, government and the officers to come back uh, and give back their uh, extra salaries which they got. Uh, but then, of course, it led to a total clampdown on this new model of private companies, which was not uh, intrinsically wrong. And uh, this is how... It, so, another example is the Social Welfare Department, which was a department was also there, but then there was this authority was also established in competition with it. So, these are the different things which... Uh, changes which are happening in government department or ministry structures. Thank you.